हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैड डिस्कस्ड मेटासेंट्रिक हाइट विथ ऑल ऑफ इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म्स टुडे आई हैव चूजन वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक व्हिच इज वेरी वर्थफुल इन योर प्रोफेशनल इंजीनियर इंजीनियरिंग लाइफ दिस इज दैट इज नथिंग बट द load transfer mechanism it is also explained by the yield line theory most of my students and friends have suggested me to make a video on this topic they usually used to ask me how the load is transferred from slab to beams and beam to column and column to footing unfortunately in our education systems in our engineering curriculum such topics are not focused completely in our degree program as well as in our diploma program consequently our engineers are not capable to perform such analyticals expression in their practical life so they usually get confused so anyway without wasting any time i just proceed to explain this topic so how the load is transferred from slab to beam so we shall discuss it one by one first i will discuss one way slab after that i will discuss two way slab mm -hmm. <clears throat> so let's suppose this is one way slab you might know what the one way slab is one way slab is nothing but for which ly is greater than 2 time l x lx is the shorter dimension of the slab and ly is the larger dimension of this slab so let's suppose w is equal to load per unit area on this slab slab its unit is kilo newton per meter square so if i divide the slab in two equal parts in this way and for example this beam this is another beam and this for example this is beam b1 this is beam b2 this is beam b3 and this is beam b4 so the load transfer mechanism of one way slab is very very simple it is suppose that no load transfer on the beam b3 and b4 just mind it just remember again i say no load is transfer on the shorter dimension of the slab all the load is transferred to the larger dimension of the slab and all the load of the slab will be transferred equally on beam b1 and beam b2 that's it so load on beam b1 is equal to half of total load on this slab what is total load on this slab w is load per unit area multiplied by its area lx and ly okay so this is the total load on beam b1 if you want to calculate the load per unit area on the beam which is generally required for the design then what is the load per unit of load on beam b1 per unit length that is half of w time lx ly this is on length ly so per unit length load on the per unit length is nothing but divided it by ly so it becomes w lx upon 
I think it might be clear to all of you. So the load on this portion on B B1 will be the W L X by 2 kilo Newton per meter. And in same way, load on B B2 also W L X upon 2 kilo Newton per meter. Now this superimposed load or live load, you can use it on your designing as for example after that you calculate the bending moment and you put this bending moment equal to the moment of resistance when you calculate the bending moment w l square by a so you need w w is nothing but the wd dead load plus wl live load kilo newton per meter so you can use this value to calculate the per running meter of the beam total per running meter weight on the beam and uh, in this way you can proceed your design further okay so this is very simple and there is no load on the beam b3 and b4 now i discuss how the load is transferred in two-way slab two-way slab is just little bit different from this you, you, you need some mathematical calculation so i just make two-way slab here 